Okay guys, so in this video I'm just going to go for a really quick um, observational uh, assessment of the elbow and hand. I'm going to add these together because it's going to be nice and quick doing these sorts of things. You can get much more specific and we might have um, future videos potentially um, aim on the site maybe to get some specialists in the hand because um, it is quite a specialty subject to do some videos on the hand. But um, the general things that I would look for with this sort of stuff, so Karina, if we just get you turned to the side. So, Generally, just looking elbow-wise, first of all, just at how it hangs to the side. So is there a, a fixed uh, flexion contracture or any sort of deformity there? Have they had any injury previously um, on the elbow So uh, and, and on the hand? You can look for things like scar sites. So often people might have carpal tunnel scars if they've had those sorts of surgeries. Um, looking for scar sites around the elbow for any surgery that someone might have had. Um, the other thing that... Um, Obviously, with any joint, you're going to be looking for redness um, for things like your inflammatory type conditions um, or any bruising if they had a trauma. So you'd want to be ruling out, you know, um, any any fractures that might be there. So you're looking for bruising, deformity, redness around the joint, around the, the joint in the hand. So you just be again having a look at the hand, both sides, obviously to see all those sorts of things. Um, you can look again with the hand at all those things I just mentioned. Um, but it's really just looking generally at that position and um, I think with those things, especially with the hand, it's a bit more specialist so we might do a, a separate video on, on that but for as a general observation inspection, those are the sorts of things that I generally look at with those joints. I don't know if you look at anything differently or anything to add to Yeah, as you say, I think the hand is a specialist area in itself so we'll probably aim to do a more in-depth look at that but yeah, exactly what you've said, elbow position, is it rest and inflection? Uh, might just get them to move their wrists see if there's any discrepancy there with um, supination, pronation. Yeah. Uh, but other than that, yeah, very similar. Perfect. Cool.